is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less uh, a video. I can tell you everything I need to know in five minutes and you don't have to lift, listen to people advertising and telling you everything about them. Um, anyway, I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. So that makes me about five decades old doing IRS problems. I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff and we're kind of like a, a national expert in IRS, affordable IRS ex experts. Um, I started this video a couple years ago. Um, I was searching for things. I just happened to go ahead and hit some cup IRS videos uh, for other people. And man, there, there's there's a lot of salesmen out there and you got to really be careful, especially in the debt settlement industry. There are a lot of fraudsters out there. It's sad. But anyway, I do these videos for three reasons. So you don't get ripped off. I can educate you and tell you the things you need to know. And as an IRS insider, you're going to hear from an IRS agent who knows what the hell they're in fact doing. I taught the offer and compromise, the debt settlement program. So I'm a, if you're going to have file an offer, you're probably going to want to ask me a question. Anyway, today as a former RO, what happens if IRS bangs at your door and someone shows up and they say, I'm from, I'm from IRS, what are you going to do? Well, for 10 years, that was me. So I want to tell you, in fact, what to do. Um, first of all, if the person comes out to you and they say they're a criminal investigator and they're from uh, uh, a criminal investigator, you don't talk to them. You shut the door. We say, thank you. I'm going to have my tax attorney call you. Um, give me your card. They're going to give you a card. And you're going to say, I'll have my attorney get to you. End of that conversation. Don't talk to anybody. Don't do anything. Just go ahead and uh, contact an attorney. Better to contact a tax attorney, uh, even someone who maybe has worked for IRS or someone's been uh, practicing criminally in the, in, in, for a long time. Uh, we do some of this work. We got some really good criminal tax attorneys. So you want to get the advice of them. Never, ever speak to a criminal investigator. If the case is a revenue officer, they're out to do one of two things. That's what I used to do. I used to want tax returns or I want to know, I want to get your financial statement to collect the debt. Most of the time, a revenue officer that will come out is going to go ahead and, and want to start collecting the monies because you owe a debt and they're trying to close the case. That's what they're trying to do. You always want to be friendly. And then what I do is I don't tell you, don't go into any detail. Ask them what they want. If you want to do this yourself and you don't want to hire someone, I don't recommend that. If it's a small debt, you can. But if it's a larger debt, just tell them you're going to have your accountant or your representative get back with them. Just be very cordial. Just say, oh, by the way, could you give me some of the things you want me to start preparing for you? I'll go ahead and do that because I know we have this debt and I want to take care of it. So it's okay to be friendly. It's okay to ask the uh, revenue officers what they want or when, you, when they want want to see you but never to a criminal investigator so remember there's a big difference a CI investigator is looking to put somebody in prison that they don't care if they collect the money to a revenue officer all they want to do is get their open collection case closed so if someone knocks on your door or leaves a card if it's a larger case I always suggest you have a power of attorney someone like our firm actually go ahead and call them and get what they want what their the revenue officer is going to want they're going to want a financial statement they're going to want your bank statements and they will give you what's called a doc request a list of all the things that they want you to bring in they'll want a 433b if it's for your business a 433a if it's for your own personal self and they'll, they'll have a whole punch list of things understand one thing they've done due diligence on you before they've come out there they just don't show up with having an address and say well gee what am I gonna do they've already looked and researched on your case that's why you don't want to say yes no yes no have somebody else act in your stead but that's up to you anyway just be prepared uh, IRS will probably set up an appointment two weeks uh, uh, from the day they come out there and they're gonna want a whole bunch of things that you have in there and by the way if you owe money your case is gonna close one of three ways by hardship by payment agreement or the filing of an offer and compromise. IRS is also going to want to make sure all your tax returns are filed. That's the job of the, R uh, uh, the RO. 
get the returns filed, get the full assessment made, and settle the case by one of those three ways. Once again, by hardship, by payment agreement, or offer and compromise. At this video, uh, you're welcome to call me if you have questions, you need representation. Please give me a subscription. YouTube thrives on people getting subscriptions. That's how they know you're good. You may not like me, but if you do, give me a subscription. Uh, give me a like, whatever. Once again, my contact information is below. Just remember, always be truthful, be friendly, and you'll want to get the case closed as soon as you can. Thank you much.